Hi, right, welcome to the Hot and Spicy. Bit of a different view. If you remember last week, um, I had a curry sauce, just a curry sauce, and I heated it up and dipped my hot and spicy chicken in. And these are the new tubs, by the way, from Tesco. And the reason they're like the new is because these are oven oven proof tubs now, apparently. Anyway, I still take them out. So. What I thought I'd do this week is I'm having roughly the same, I'm having the Tesco flatbread and all that sort of stuff. It's early on now, Saturday, early on on Saturday, so I'm going to take a few of these, put them in here, and then just simply marinate them. Cover them, stir them, and I'll show you when I've done them. What we do is place, I only want, say, one, two, three, we'll try four. And, and I'll do about three cooked as normal. And I'll just, all I'm going to do is coat them. And this is a Madras curry. See how that goes. Only simple. Right, so they're well coated, very nice. Stick down the fridge and I will cook them the same as I do these later on. And um, But of course you'll see it now, so see you in a couple of seconds. So a few hours later and here we are. Welcome to the hot and spicy. So the only thing went with coating chicken is it looks burnt doesn't it? Looks, it looks worse on the screen <laughs> it looks worse to you than it is in real life but anyway these are the these are the curried ones on this side here and then these this side are not curried but in case I enjoy, well I do enjoy them I brought a dip and these bowls by the way are bowl tea bowls I think they're called Stainless steel, 79 pence in home bargains. Ice cold carlin, as you can hopefully tell by the misty look. Oh yeah, oh, hits a spot. And Tesco's sun blushed flatbread, tomato uh, flatbread. Right then, can you see me all right? Put a light on, but it's... Uh, Looks like the camera's trying to um, just bear with me. Hmm. The camera's trying to counteract it somewhat. Right. There we go. Technical issues. Hmm. How's your week been? That's the main thing. How are you doing? I hope you're okay. I'm down to try these. Okay, dokie. You ready? This is the curried one. Mm. Hey, that's good. Bloody hell. It takes away the crunch. But look at that. Beautiful meat inside, see? See the curry there? That's nice. All it, all it is is a jar of curry sauce, Madras this is. Mm. Look at that. Really nice. Did I bring it? Yes I have. Excuse me. Thank you. Right. <clears throat> Video editors we'll talk about first. Get asked a few times what do I use to film what tripods, what cameras, what lights, what this and the other. And a lot of times what sort of software do I use? Well, From one extreme to the other, actually, um, a lot of 
like these vlogs, a lot of walks even, or a majority of videos are done on a very basic free Windows Movie Maker. And you might think, what? Nothing wrong with it. it does the job. I've also got a thing called Adobe Premiere Pro CC and um, shall we say I started using the official version in 2014 and I use that editor that's a very detailed editor um, expensive editor um, for doing videos I want to say a lot of fades or you know technical things in multiple tracks um, different things I want to do a lot of colour correction not that you'd notice in basic videos but some sometimes I'll go on to a, uh, make a video full hit and um, it makes a difference anyway uh, that editor used to cost about a thousand pounds or somewhere around there years ago and then they made it now, it costs, I pay every year and as, as I say it started in 2014 and it costs about 300 I think somewhere around there, 300 pounds a year you might think but yeah, that's a lot or whatever but it's a good piece of kit if you want to use it I don't use it for probably half of what it can do and there's another one that goes with it, Photoshop Adobe After Effects, all that sort of stuff and anyway what I'm going to say is I've downloaded I've got the uh, 2014 version and let's have another bite of this curried and uh, they used to take the money every year 300 quid, and I thought it was hang on why have I got the same version I'd like the upgraded one thanks or the latest one if I'm paying and then part of me thought, well, no, you're paying for the use of it. It's good. So anyway, it left it. So last week, well, this week, I should say, this last week, that's beautiful. I went into the editor and I had to play around and I looked and uh, there's uh, updates. So I clicked on update. First thing it said, would you like 2017 version free? So it's me not looking, you know. So I've had 2014 version for three years. <laughs> not that it matters, but there's a lot of different things in the new version. It's good. It's good. I don't use it a lot. Um, I use it. I use that for my shaving videos, and I use, as I say, for specific videos. Oh, I was talking to this fella. He said, I'm going to a fancy dress party. He says, I'm going to dress up as a small island off the coast of Italy. I said, don't be so silly. Bear with me. I know, I know. Oh. I'm going to start a feature, Troll of the Week. Hell. No, I'm not really. Wouldn't waste your breath, but it made me laugh. This, you know. <laughs> if you do YouTube yourself, you'll know probably you've had these people and whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> I had a comment under one of my fridge tour videos. Okay, they're just a bit of fun. There's nothing serious in it. Just showing inside the fridge. But saying that, some people like to have a nose at what you got, and you know, and there's a bit of banter back and so it's only a bit of fun. Don't have to watch it. It was titled Fridge Tour. Anyway, <laughs> under that one, I can't remember which one it was now. One of the Fridge Tours, anyway. This fella, or whatever, commented and said, um, I thought the video I watched on a Hoover unboxing was the saddest one I've ever watched until I watched this so <laughs> I replied you must live a shit life now 
what I mean by that is <laughs> everybody can watch what they want and the thumbs up, the thumbs down, everything's there for people to use and everybody's got a different opinion and everybody films things differently and that's what makes the world go round, everything's different. Anyway, what makes me laugh is he, or maybe she, I don't know, probably a he though, has sat there and thought, Hoover unboxing video. God, I couldn't think of anything even worse boring. Hoover unboxing video. God, makes me sick. <coughs> yeah, I think I'll watch it. And then watched it. And then probably commented on that. This is a shittiest boring video or whatever. And then he comes across mine titled, this is very important, Fridge Tour. Now, I don't know about you, but if you don't like the look or something, or you don't like the sound or something, or you're not interested in something, you wouldn't watch it. But, oh no, this fella, he likes going around watching videos he hates, and then whinges about it. <laughs> but he's not alone. Uh, anyway, it might be my sense of humour, but I think it's funny. that he, They don't realise how stupid they look. But it makes, makes you laugh, well, it makes me laugh. So thank you very much for that. Well, I don't know if you watched the uh, Hot and Spicy. You may not like that either. Ooh, well, nothing like a pizza. Ah. Mm, get out of it. Um, tomatoes are in, chilies in, scotch bonnets off the roof. And thanks for people letting me know about this fella in um, Denbyshire, in St Asaf, who's growing the hottest chilli in the world. I'm going to see him actually if I can get one for the hot and spicy. <laughs> I think he did it by accident or something happened. Um, they're going to use it in medicine or something like that. But he said it's so hot, if you were to eat it or something, some people can go into a... For apple, what do they call it? Apoleptic, phallatic fit or something like that. I can't remember the word now. I know what I mean, but I can't remember how to say it. Oh, something, some fit of shock. Because it's so hot it could kill you. No. Mm. What are you having? Can't beat it. Uh, makes me laugh. Again, somebody said on one of the hot and spicy. Um, <coughs> oh yeah, he had some chicken. If you're watching, made me laugh. I might have said this before. I often repeat myself. He had some chicken in, ready for the midweek, and then uh, he watched this. He said they're in the oven now. It's midnight. <laughs> Just it does make you hungry, and I'm sorry, you know, but. I am sorry, I'm not. Ooh. Beautiful. Oh, with the thing. Driving along Rail Road this afternoon. I've been to Home Bargains. Oh, I had a nice chat in Home Bargains with Kev. Um, I don't think you watch every video I do, but you watch it now and again. And Kev. Um, we met when we were doing a GMP. He was by the main gates of the mental, and he he went like that. Uh, you know. <laughs> that even made me laugh. I think he has watched the video. Graham filmed it, and I filmed a bit of everything. Um, yeah, so nice to see you, Kev, today. Had a nice chat, um, and then coming down Rail Road after I've been there. Somebody waved, waving like hell. So I did spot you, but you know, I just glanced you waving as I was driving past. So um, I didn't recognize you as someone I know personally. So I can only think you may know me off this. I don't know. But anyway, if you do watch this, thanks for waving. Look at that. Tell how cold that is. Lovely. 
Right, I'm going to have another, another one. A uh, normal one with no curry on it. See the difference? Oh, the crunch is bad. Yeah. Well, coming off a bone, man. That's nice as well. But I like the kick. Lovely. As I was telling you, tomatoes and chilli plants. Still doing okay. Only been in a week. Well, just under a week. Um, and I'm looking closely at the tumbling tom, I think it is. And little tiny shoots are starting like they're going to be tomatoes. Already? Yeah. Unless I'm wrong. But looks that way. Beautiful evening. The sun's out. Makes filming a nightmare sometimes up here. Caught up with all the comments. The other channel, this channel, I think. No, I might have a few more on this. Emails. And um oh I have an email today, this afternoon off YouTube. Um different things are happening. And people's AdSense payments have dropped. And then um, a massive drop, 70%. If you have AdSense, you'll notice it's dropped over the last month or two. It's not you. It's YouTube's dropped it. They've you know, brought it down. But uh, a week or so ago, a week or two ago, there was a big meet -up meeting with some of the high-end YouTubers and the CEO of YouTube and some of the directors of YouTube. And apparently, some big... Big meeting, a uh, lot of cussing by some of the YouTubers, you know, and uh, so they're going to try and sort something out, uh, and that's been one of the things sorted out, something to do with the payments again. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Mm. Lovely. What else is there? Oh, stuff on order, that's another channel. Um, no Sunday roast tomorrow. In Chester tomorrow. Um, Mrs H is doing the uh, half marathon. Along with about 3,000 others. So our family's come in. I'm going, I'll probably do a bit of a video of it. Especially Chester's nice Chester. Really nice. Tell you what, let's be daring. Dip a curried one in the curry. Double curry. Mm, that's bloody hell. Honestly, it's only simple, but bloody hell, it's nice. Get the normal cooked chicken instead of the hot and spicy. Marinate them. You cook them. Lovely. I'll tell you what I am cooking next week. <coughs> it's a cottage pie. Which is um, minced beef. Um, <coughs> well people have got, the way I do it is the way I do it. I mean there is a lot of people who do it different ways. I do it with minced beef, onion, carrots, peas, and sometimes garlic and that. <clears throat> and some people put tomato puree, a tin of tomatoes, celery. Um, but I will put um, probably rosemary and thyme in it. And you cook it in a pan, put it in a dish, boil potatoes, mash them. I put some proper butter, salted butter, mash it up, 
and then you cover what you've cooked in the put them all in the pan then you cover with mash and then fork and then goes in the oven till the mash is golden brown at the top beautiful yeah very nice that <clears throat> I've had that for so long it was in my head sometimes I'll get I don't know if you're the same if you cook yourself um, you know you think what the hell can I have today and you, whatever and some days something will come in my head like liver and onions I've got to have liver and onions and I'll do it <laughs> or a lamb stew I've got to do with lamb stew and I do it so this week was cottage pie so I'll do it next week yeah talking of liver and onions not everybody's cup of tea obviously but uh, I was brought up on it very regular and I loved it I even had an idiot under that saying something like this was terrible it must have tasted like shoe leather I've never heard of lamb's liver never heard of lamb's liver you bloody idiot never heard of a brain either dear his mother when he was born threw him away and kept the afterbirth she should have done more bloody sense out of it but anyway it's been popular that video and I've had a few comments this last week or two people saying they tried it um, somebody in America I think and said they loved it so it's nice but as I say it's not everybody's cup of tea you know that method might not work for you it's the same in a lot of things in life you know works for me might not work for you Anyway, anything else? No, I've told you about the editors. Um, I've been given a <clears throat> a link to music as well now, which I didn't know about, which I can use, um, which is nice. But it's not to be given out as well. I don't know silly thing because you are giving it out when you use it you've got to put a thing in the description <laughs> anyway look at this now I haven't used any yet look at that mm. Mm. oh another thing highly recommend these In these lights, I use them all the time. AAs, 10 in a pack. I ordered 100. What did it cost me? 20 quid, 30 quid, something like that, with postage. Last a hell of a time. I always have the AA batteries, torches, and things like that, especially in the winter time. But um, yeah, handy in these lights I use for the filming. I use these in the shaving videos, really. Right, I'm waffling out. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed your food. Whatever you've had. If you've had it, having it, or going to have it. Have a great Sunday. And um, I shall see you in the next video. Whenever that may... Well, probably I'll do a bit of filming tomorrow. So either tomorrow night or Monday. I'll put that up. Have a great weekend. Thanks for all your support, for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.